just grabbed some food and it's already four o'clock or something. I've uh, left the house at three o'clock, which is really late and it kind of annoys me that I'm so depending from my host. Yeah, but he had to work until two or three. I think it was three o'clock. It kind of annoys me that I waste half my day. But a good thing that I'm with a local here is that at the first restaurant we wanted to eat, the guy who was working there told him that uh, I would have pay I would have to pay more for my food uh, because I'm from a different country. So that's how they handle that. And even though I was with him, I would have to pay more. And so it's a good thing that I was with him. Yeah, so I just paid only 140 uh, rupees. That's uh, like it's 76 cents. Yeah, so that's really cheap. So this is what an hospital here looks like. After we've had some lunch, we went to an hospital because he had to grab some bills, I think. Some part of his work, I don't know, something for his work stuff whatever and after after that after i've been waiting for a long time again and had nothing to do there we drove to a kind of monument of the sri lankan uh, robin hood so that someone who stole money from the rich and gave them the poor and that was in the 19th century 19th yes and after that he brought me to his house and said he will be back in about 15 minutes and uh, because he had to make a signature at his work so yeah that was three hours ago I'm still here waiting kind of I mean if I had something else to go I wouldn't be here and waiting but yeah so that's why I'm working again cutting videos and yeah with a really really bad internet connection so it's not really fun so even this one song is downloading for five minutes still which would take seconds normally yeah but I mean I have read that Sri Lankans are not punctual and that they are when they they never say no if they say maybe or yeah yes whatever they don't mean it <laughs> so they are yes hello oh my god <clears throat> you don't know what has just happened so right now it would be really better to speak German so that he can't understand me. I don't know when he came home, but one hour ago I was in the kitchen and he was definitely not there. So he can't be home for so long. I don't know if he heard me because I was speaking quite loudly. Um, but yeah, I should tell you about something that has happened when we've been to Marissa and when we have been staying in the hotel. I hope you understand me and I'm um, speaking too quietly. But I can't speak louder. Um yeah. When we came back from partying, he and uh, we we shared the hotel room I showed you and but there were two beds, two separate beds, so I took the smaller one and when we came back from partying he had only one beer and that was also some time ago and I've also had one beer and I felt just normal. He sat down at the side of my bed and said things like, oh Katie, you're so nice and I like you so much. Also with his smile all the time, he's like, Katie, you're so nice. Yeah, not funny actually, but at the beginning I was quite polite. I said, um, yeah, I'm, uh, thank you, I'm tired, I'd like to sleep now and things. But he um, 
um, said things like, oh, are you really so sleepy? And then he started caressing me and uh, when I when he realized I'm trying to dump him, he sat down really on my bed then and tried to hug me and uh, you're so nice and things like that he said. And then I got really honest and direct and said I whatever you want I don't want it and I just want to sleep. Please go into your bed and I just want to sleep. I don't want that. I really said that these words and he didn't want to leave. I had to speak so long until he left and uh, went to bed. Right now I told you how long he has been away. Although he wanted to do some trip, we wanted he said he wanted to do so much more things like the elephant, the elephant, whatever, orphanage kind of thing, um, and hiking onto a mountain and so on. And and now we came. Okay, I came into my room basically. He knocked into the door, came into my room. So he must have heard it. I don't know. Maybe. So we've just had a conversation about uh, at first he wanted to invite me for a party for getting to know each other more and I asked what kind of party so he said drinking a bit and I bet we would have been just alone somewhere not really a party and it's quite sure what he wanted also during the conversation and uh, I said to him that this is not the sense of couch surfing. I don't want it. And he said, "Oh yes, the couch surfing thing. That was what my friend did. And because the profile was from these two together, but together, I mean. And if if it wouldn't wouldn't if I wouldn't be here for couch surfing, um, I wouldn't be here. So I wouldn't be with him." And then when he realized I wouldn't be doing anything with him, he said, yes, uh, you're kind of blocking the room because I'm also on Airbnb. And so I have no words anymore for that. Um, before the, inc the first incident at the hotel, I was really nice to him. And oh, there's a fly was really nice to him and because he was real, really really nice to me he did a lot of things for me that's what he also said uh, he said he did so much for me that I was nothing giving nothing back and well that's your it's your free will that you're on coach serving so that's the sense of coach serving basically and yeah after that incident I was not really nice to him anymore, just polite but not open, not really talkative. And maybe he he knows he noticed that but I don't know. In the first place I said I wanted to leave the day after tomorrow but then he wanted to get rid of me rid of me right away because normally he had so many friends here and Airbnb and I was blocking all of that. So yeah, so I'm supposed to leave tomorrow morning, but he's at work anyway, so I'm gonna leave tomorrow at the uh, daytime, some at maybe three o'clock before he returns. Yeah, cool first experience with coach surfing, but I'm gonna book a sofa candy right now, I think, and. I thought he could drive me to Kenya because it's just two kilometers away and I mean we drove to Marissa Beach that's that was four hours so yeah I think I can forget about that I'm gonna grab a tuk tuk or something yeah cool so by the way I've just found him on Airbnb and one night costs nine euros and as you can see 
and as I've also seen in his house, there is another bedroom. So this is not my bedroom, because mine looks like this. Yeah, and so what? I don't block anything here. He could have guests anyways in the other guest room. So yeah. So this is his kitchen, and yeah, his garden. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm.